Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm back with a massive perfume haul and more exactly with the perfumes that I got at Essence. I've got in here 10 fragrances. They were kindly gifted to me. So just to let you know, everything that I have in here was gifted. Basically, I, I would never accept a fragrance that was gifted and I would not like. But also like, I'm pretty sure that do not give me anything that I'll be like, mm, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Like with all of this, I've tested them in there and my reaction was just like, this is absolutely amazing. This is fabulous. This is fantastic. Like, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then they were like, if you love it that much, here we go. We have a bottle for you. I'm so, so grateful for all of the, the amazing people that I've met in there. I'm so, so grateful that they actually gifted me all of this. I would say with pretty much everything that I have in here, if they will not give me a full bottle, I would probably purchase one because they're just that good. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, I'm gonna go very quickly through all of them because like I said, we have lots of fragrances. Um, we have some gourmand fragrances, we have some floral ones, we have some fruity perfumes, we have some darker scents. We have a bit of everything. And I'm gonna start with some gourmands because you know that I love gourmands. Uh, the newest release from New Notes, we have Latte di Cherry. Uh, I actually, I wanted to test this perfume because I saw it on their uh, Instagram and I spoke with them and actually New Notes was the first brand that I visited uh, when I was, was at Exans. Basically, I just want to like visit everyone, but I was just like too shy. And then I saw them and they were like so nice. Their like stand, like their decor was like all pink and just like super girly and it was amazing. They had like pink champagne and all of that. It looked fantastic. It looked fabulous. And obviously, when I saw the name Latte di Cherry, I had to test it. Like, come on. I have probably every single cherry fragrance that's on the market. And no, I'm not tired of this note. Latte di Cherry, let me tell you about the notes. We have almond, cherry, orange, red fruits, jasmine, spices, rose, ilang ilang, Amber, musk, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. I love it. And I love it especially because, um, like I said, I have pretty much every cherry fragrance that's on the market. Um, and it doesn't smell like the other ones. That's the thing. Latte di cherry is not just about the cherry. It's like cherry and other berries, I would say. I know it says red fruits, but I'm definitely getting this like berry vibe as well. Cherry is definitely the main note. It's a very, very fizzy cherry. And it's not, I know it's fizzy. It's very uplifting. It's a bit like a sour cherry as well, like a sour cherry lollipop. Yes, sour cherry lollipop. And you have like this like fizzy drink. I'm getting a little bit of orange as well. Think of like, I don't know, an orange fizzy drink. Sour cherry lollipop with orange fizzy drink. And then you add some berries. Let it eat cherry. See, this is what I, why I really, really like it. Because it doesn't go into that Tom Ford territory. It's, it's not that. I know it has, I can, I can actually smell some almonds. Wait, wait a second. I was about to say I'm not really getting the almonds, but wait a second. I can actually smell some nuttiness in there as well. It's such a good fragrance. It's such a fun fragrance. And I actually wore it last week. And I was in the queue um, at Pret. And the girl that was working there, she was like, oh my God, what is that? It smells amazing. And I was like, thank you. It's Latte di Cherry from New Notes is their newest release. And she looked at me like, ah, okay. And like, not because like normal people, probably they know some designers. They don't know every single niche that's on the market and every single new release. But she was like, oh my God, that smells absolutely amazing. But I was like, yes, I know. It's amazing. I know. Thank you. It's so good. But it's like, it's sweet, but don't think it's going to be overly sweet. Yes, it's a sour cherry lollipop. This is what I'm getting. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Again, 
as soon as I get a compliment, I'm like, yes, it's not just me. The fragrance is actually that good. So new notes, latte cherry. Now let's move on to the next one. And probably my favorite gourmand that I got. And I'm just obsessed, like genuinely obsessed with this fragrance. That one is from the House of Wood Bon Bon Pop. This is from their newest collection. It's called the Crazy Collection. I got a chance to smell all of them. The bottles are beautiful. Uh, they have Bon Bon Pop, Gambling, I believe. And then the other one, it's Wasabi. Wasabi actually has a note of wasabi. And I was like, I'm not sure how this is going to go. But as soon as I smelled it, I just need to put all of this down. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, this is actually nice. Like, I was not expecting that. The other one, Gambling. If you love a good boozy fragrance, you are going to be obsessed. Like, I need that in my collection as well. It's stunning. And then we have Bon Bon Pop. That is the bottle. I love their bottle, honestly. It's a, it's a crazy collection, so this is going to be a foam bottle. I love these eggs. I already have two other legs. Um, not legs, eggs. I do have two other eggs. Um, I just I just love them. Like, that's so cute. Bon Bon Pop. The notes are not doing justice for this fragrance. It's unbelievable good. Let me tell you the notes. We have bergamot, coconut, white peach, jasmine, patchouli, amber, brown sugar, mask and woods let's spray it in here i wore i wore this one as well to work imagine coconut but not that sun like that sunscreen type of coconut no like this like chewy coconut with a bit of bergamot so it's a bit it has something fresh a bit aromatic as well and then with the most beautiful peach that you can find it's a bit like the peach it's a bit powdery it's so good honestly i i i was wearing this one in work and someone smelled me and she was like you smell amazing what is that and i told her she had no idea and actually had a bottle with me so i went in the back got the bottle and I sprayed her and she was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God, this is amazing. And she was with uh, her partner and she was like, you need to buy this one for me for my birthday, Easter. I don't know. I need this in my life. This is amazing. I was like, yes, I know. The, uh, forget about bitter peach or like other peach fragrances. Peach is going to be the main note. I'm, I'm telling you from now. Like peach is the main note. If you're looking for a gourmand peach that is not like too gourmand it's not sugary sweet but it's sweet it, it is sweet okay this is so good like gourmand for the springtime this is gonna be amazing and again the projection and just like it's stunning it's stunning you're getting you see that bergamot starts to fade away you're not getting that coconut anymore it's probably just in the opening you have the other notes you have the jasmine you have the amber you have the brown sugar you can smell the brown sugar you can definitely smell the brown sugar the other one more like supportive notes but it's like yeah brown sugar with, with like peach with like a fuzzy white peach amazing absolutely amazing and then the gambling one uh, the boozy one stunning as well but this one obviously was the sweetest one from the three uh, that they had in in the new collection and i was like this is brilliant this is amazing i love it um so th yeah they were kind enough they gifted me a bottle thank you so much it's amazing i need to buy the other one as well because it's that good um bon bon pop from the house of wood all right let's move on to a new brand it's not just a new collection it's actually a new brand i discovered with my dear friend greta uh, this one is Reinvented, this is the name of the brand, and the fragrance is Sacred Bond. I really like the bottles, but I feel like nowadays it's very hard to come out with like a cool bottle without like looking just plain or just too much. I really like the marble cap. I've tested, I think they have six or seven fragrances in their collection. Uh, I've tested 
all of them and this one was definitely my favorite let me tell you about the notes we have mandarin orange bergamot raspberry jasmine i do not know what i wrote in here i'm gonna put it on the screen okay rose saffron sandalwood benzoin caramel vanilla white mask and amber is it gardenia I generally I hate when I do this. Like I write the notes, and I do like quite fast. And my writing, like everyone that knows me, they know that like I have the worst writing ever. Like you cannot. I should be a doctor. You know, like doctor writing minus words in that. You know how much I love my my wife floral perfumes. You know how much I love jasmine fragrances. This is jasmine with a little bit of gardenia a little bit of um orange and raspberry it's jasmine and raspberry with a bit of everything else i've told you it's so good it's so good I, I, like i'm so happy that i discovered this one because i have so many jasmine fragrances in my collection and yes, one is more like indolic jasmine, one is more like green jasmine, one is sweeter, but they don't they don't really have like supportive like fruity notes. This one has the raspberry. See, I should have included this one in my raspberry, um, like best raspberry fragrances, but I didn't have it back then. So it's so good. And for a light, it's not a light scent, but it's like obviously a floral scent. It's beast. Like I can generally smell it from here. Normally when you spray it on people, you kind of have to go close, but it's strong. Like it's proper, proper strong. And this one, I believe was the lightest one that I had to offer. All of the other ones, they were more like darker scents, I would say. I know that Greta, she loved another one. And obviously you don't have the time. You spend, I don't know, with a brand, maybe 10 minutes. You don't have the time to like, smell from the uh, top nose to the base nose you, you don't have the time so it's basically just like first impression which one you love the most and definitely like this one i love the most but the other ones i remember they were like proper strong like super intense fragrances love it absolutely love it spring amazing like i cannot i didn't wear this one yet uh but i'm planning to wear it tomorrow um and yeah i can't wait to to test this one actually out you know out and about because uh, it's amazing and i know that i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a compliment with this one as well because it's just not too much you know it's like this beautiful jasmine with a bit of gardenia with, a, with some raspberry a bit of orange you can't go wrong with that um sacred bond from reinvented next let me put the bottle in here okay are you ready for the bougiest bottle that i have um, I never actually thought that they're gonna give me a bottle of this perfume. Let me just move things around because this box is massive. I basically, I was just messaging brands on Instagram because it was busy. Like if you didn't book, if you didn't book an appointment, you couldn't really speak to them. And I really want to discover Royal Crown. Royal Crown is this like super luxurious brand. I love the bottles and there were two fragrances I really wanted to try. One was Nocturna, the other one was Sultan because I've heard just very, very good things about them. They're expensive, like, expensive, but they're luxurious items. So I was like, I'm not blind buying that. I need to test them. So as soon as I saw that they are at Essence, I was like, I have to go there. First day I've tried to get in there, but they were busy like, the whole day i was like okay fine so i messaged them on instagram with absolutely no hope that someone is gonna reply to me guess what 15 minutes later i got a text yes gabby we can't wait to meet you like come tomorrow whenever you're free come tomorrow and um we can have uh, we can meet we can talk about our fragrances i was like is this actually happening like royal crown actually wants to meet me me okay fine so i went there um all shaking and all of that and um i didn't know what to expect because their bottles are stunning uh everything in there was stunning but i know that they're expensive so i was like i don't wanna i don't know just say 
I don't obviously, obviously you don't want to say oh I hate this but I don't want to say good things just because I don't know they are I just thought that I'm gonna be this, like bougie super bougie people no they were so humble they were so nice it's actually um a family company this is the third generation they told me about like the whole history of the brand they were so nice and then when I start to smell the fragrances I realized that it is an amazing bottle but also, also the juice inside is just unbelievable good this brand is not gonna be for everyone this brand i know it's very expensive i know it's very bougie if you have the budget if you have the money if you can spend that much money on a, on a perfume obviously there are other brands that maybe the quality is not as great but the price is that even higher um but if you if you can afford this go and try them go and try them because the, the bottle that i received it's the perfume that i love the most and that one is nocturna let me just show you the presentation absolutely stunning and here is the bottle already uh wore this one to work i know who wears this perfume to work me because i want to test it that is the bottle the cup has Swarovski crystals hand painted it's amazing extremely heavy and now the fragrance like i said i was a bit i don't know worried that i might not like them i love them i didn't like them absolutely love them and i was like i know that they're expensive but like i said this is not gonna be a brand for everyone it's gonna be a brand for someone that can actually afford them if you want to save up if you have if you want to spend your money also for on just like one fragrance I would suggest you go and try this one. If you want one luxurious fragrance in your collection, I tested plenty of fragrances that I had, but Nocturna just stole my heart. I, I cannot even, I, I don't know how to explain to you how this perfume smells like. Is that well blended? I will tell you the notes. We have melon, peach, lychee, sandalwood, uh, peony, magnolia, ambergris and Madagascar vanilla. I do I do not know how to explain how this perfume smells like. Because yes, you can smell all of the notes, but you cannot you cannot separate them. They're just that well blended. It's probably it's probably one of the most luxurious perfumes I have in my collection. Would I spend the money on it? This perfume is 570 euros. Yes. Uh, the most I paid for fragrance, actually two fragrances were two, bond number nine, and they were like 470 pounds, which is gonna be like 500 euros. Yes. I would, I would spend 70 pounds more euros actually to get this one. Again, do not blind buy. It's a very expensive perfume. It's a very expensive house. But if you have the chance to test them, and if you know that you're willing to pay this, this money for a bottle, go and test them. Because you might fall in love. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to fall in love with at least one of the fragrances. Sultan was also amazing. I tested another one. I can't remember the name. That was amazing. Like, their perfumes, even if they were darker, lighter, they were so well blended, they were so expensive. Like, I don't think I smell something this expensive in my life. It's 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 amazing. It's absolutely amazing. This is your it's very sexy, very seductive, but being very classy in the same time. This is a night out restaurant. Again, I want it to work, but that's just me. Because I need to test them, you know? Extremely long-lasting. And the sillage. The thing is, I spray this one in my car. And when I get into my car, I don't, I don't spray like a lot. I did probably like three sprays. And then I got to work. It was a bit late. Not late to work, but usually I like to have time to have breakfast, you know, to drink my coffee. Didn't really have time for that. So I didn't reapply it. And I was just like walking around. And one of my um, colleagues was like, you spray so much perfume, like I can smell you. I, normally you spray a lot of perfume, but today like I can smell you everywhere. And I was like, I actually didn't. I actually spray just like this perfume three times. And I was like, oh really? Yeah, only three times. I didn't realize 
the sillage that this perfume was leaving. It's unbelievable. It's again, you need, if you know that you can afford and if you're willing to spend the money on a luxurious item, I highly, highly, highly recommend you go and check this out because they're amazing and it's not just a house that is making some perfumes, put them in like fancy bottles and that's it, you know, like you, I can tell that they care. It's a family business again. This is the third generation. It's just the whole family um, creating these amazing perfumes. I loved it. I love the experience. I love talking to them and absolutely love this one. And I need to see where I can find more samples so I can try more of them because I kind of want another one. And yes, I will purchase another one. I will spend my money. Again, I'm a fragrance addict. I love fragrances. I will spend that much money, okay? Didn't spend exactly that much, but very close on other two fragrances. So that's just me. But yeah, if you can, if you can afford it, if you want something luxurious, check this one out because it's, it's unbelievable good. Nocturna from Royal Crown. Another amazing um, perfume house I've discovered, never heard about it, and this fragrance stole my heart, okay? This one is from Cupid, and the fragrance is called Vivo. Here we have the bottle. Let me just put the box in here. That is going to be the bottle. I can already smell it from here. If you love a good rose fragrance boy you're gonna fall in love maybe it's not the right season maybe i know because it's it's i know it's spring it's almost summer but this in the fall and winter is gonna be amazing like amazing let me tell you about the notes we have bergamot rose cashmere wood saffron tonka bean vanilla musk moss and amber This is a gourmand rose without being jammy. It's not a jammy rose. It's, it's rose with vanilla, a little bit of amber, the saffron, it's a bit woody as well. It's such a sexy rose fragrance like it's intoxicating it's not too dark it's definitely like a rose scent it's definitely a sweet scent don't think it's gonna be like dark no amazing it's the right amount of spice it's just slightly spicy it's slightly woody it's vanillic it's ambery it's 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 so good it's so good this in the fall i'm uh, right now i'm like I want to be fall again so I can wear lots of fragrances that I receive, but I can't because it's sunny outside. But then when it's sunny, I want to be when it's not sunny, I want to be sunny so I can wear my freshest. Do you know what I mean? Like you can never have it right. Again, this is sexy nighttime, very elegant in the same time, but it's like black dress, red lipstick. Love it. Absolutely, and it, it's a Beast of a beast of a beast. Amazing, amazing composition. Nothing harsh. Everything so like well rounded. Absolutely love it. Vivo from Cupid. Amazing, amazing fragrance. Another one. Oh, I feel so silly now. So, I got from Memoirs London. Uh, Delicia. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but Delicia. Tried lots of uh, perfumes that they had, got some discovery kits as well, but this one I was like, it's a gourmand. Like, again, floral gourmand, I was like, I need this in my life. And um, funny thing, I have I wanted to try uh, Memoirs for a very long time because I've heard about this brand. But for some reason, I didn't read the London part and I thought it's a French brand. So I never actually went, like, looked for it in an actual store. I, I don't know. I don't know what was in my head. And I got there 
and Greta already tested all of the fragrances and she, she told me before she was like oh my god there's a fragrance at Memoirs that I feel like you're gonna love so we went there and then I was like hi I'm Gabby I oh you have Memoirs I want to try Memoirs and then I just stopped and I, I, I was like London and she was like yeah we're from London like with the most British accent because in there you can like, everyone was either Italian or French the most British accent I hear yes we're from London I was like, why I never, why I never tested you? I had, why I didn't read properly? Anyway, I felt stupid and silly, but she was so like, she was so nice. She was so fun. That is the box. The cap is more like in the shape of a flower. So then the box literally opens like a flower. Let me take the bottle out. Everything goes in there. That is the bottle. Listen, there is a fun bottle, but the fragrance inside is fun. It's fun, but I was, it's, it, I was not expecting it to be this seductive and this, I don't know, it has something about it. Let me tell you the notes. We have sweet lemon, taif rose, Moroccan rose, vanilla, benzoin, cedarwood, and white musk. If you ask me, Delicia is, it doesn't have any caramel, but um, am I actually, no, I don't think it's caramel. Think Gentle Freddy Gold from MFK, but make it gourmand, like super gourmand. Yes, it's that type of vanilla. And rose vanilla was sweet. And it has something super creamy. I think it's a sandalwood. Does it have sandalwood? Uh, does it have any sandalwood? It's something very creamy here. Like very, like the whole composition is very creamy. It's so good. It's so, it's sweet. It's like proper sweet. But again, it has two type of rose. It's like, it's mainly a rose vanilla scent. But like I said, don't think like, I don't know, Middle Eastern type of rose, don't think. The best way to describe it is take MFK, Gentle Freddy Gold, and make it gourmand. Like, you know that I love that fragrance, but that one is more like, for me, like springtime. This can be all year round. This is the seductive sister, not sister, cousin, because they, when you spray them side by side, they don't smell the same at all but it's just the vibe just the same type of vanilla they're like very feminine vanilla it's so good and it has again it has something like feminine but sexy in the same time and it's sweet but not sugary sweet love it love it love it love it i cannot wait to wear this one next week i have to wear everything that i didn't wear already um yeah stunning perfume absolutely stunning and there are two more i'm gonna talk about them in my next video um from memoirs that i was like i need them i need them they're fantastic they're amazing so uh, memoirs london delicia all right let's move on to another brand that i want to discover for a very long time and that one is dusita everyone talks about dusita and i got in there the guy that the guy that I spoke with, like he was so sweet and so nice. And he told me again, the entire history of the brand. He told me about every single fra fragrance that they had. He was so patient. Like there were other people that like he had to talk to, but he took the time to explain to me everything. He was absolutely amazing. We just sat down, we just had like a little presentation. It was so, so nice. And I have a sample of another fragrance that I was like, I love it. A coffee one. Spoiler alert, it's a coffee one. I'm going to talk about it in the next video. And then they had this like hair and body mist. And they had like four different scents. Obviously, I have the perfume version. I have a sample of the perfume version. Um, but they had like one of, I think there were three or four. And he was like, which one do you like the most? And I tested this one, I was like, I definitely like this one the most, even though I was not expecting that. When he told me the notes, I was like, this sounds green and aromatic and not for me. And then as soon as I sprayed it on the tester, I was like, I love it. I 
love it this one is i'm gonna butcher the name so bad era one he said the name a billion times and i was there with him i remember they couldn't pronounce the name i was like that one yes i like the rose on uh, but that one i didn't know how to pronounce it i still don't know anyway i got the body mist i have the sample as well of the perfume the perfume is basically just like a stronger version but this smell generally the same and this is such a nice surprise because basically most of all of the other items i got that like gourmands this is not this is everything I i'm gonna explain in a second let me tell you the notes first we have herbal notes petit grain hay clary sage lily of the valley liatris vetiver vanilla oak moss and cedar for some do you know i had much a meditation from um meso marti margiela but it was just too green it was just something about it that i didn't like and i had to declutter it this one doesn't have any matcha in it nothing but it reminds me of like a matcha tea but like a very well rounded aromatic herbal perfume it's not too green that's my problem with green perfumes they can be like too green it's not it's refreshing it's aromatic it is green but it's not to the point where it smells like grass i don't like that and it, it still smells like perfume it doesn't smell like you're just sitting in the grass for three hours do you know what i mean it's, it still smells like perfume and it doesn't have any matcha but it's smelling some like matcha tea it's very aromatic it's very i want to actually put on a spread it's so good it's like so i'm not going anywhere but it's so calming refreshing in the same time a bit earthy as well you know i have a few fragrances like this but not this is not necessarily my thing and when he told me he told me that this one is a bit more unisex it's not as floral as all of the other ones i was like oh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna and as soon as i sprayed it i was like i love it i don't i don't like it i love it and like i said the eau du parfum it's actually just more intense and i kind of prefer the body the hair and body mist because I'm not necessarily into this like type of herbal aromatic perfumes and this has just like the perfect balance that one can be it's maybe a bit too intense for me the eau du parfum so that's why I absolutely love it absolutely love it so that's why I, I'm actually really happy that I had the hair in body mist and I love the fact that it's actually like a bottle it's like glass bottle the bottle looks nice it's not like a plasticky thing you know what I mean like other brands are doing like plastic and no nah, it still looks very very nice love it love it like this is gonna be just your no-brainer when you want to feel like calm and just relaxed and yeah like i needed something like this in my collection because i've tried i've tried matcha meditation i've tried other fragrances with like a green touch and they were just like too much for me but this one it's just absolutely perfect uh dusita erwan erwan Ervan, Ervan, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's amazing. Three more fragrances and then we are done, okay? Uh, on the second day, second day was just not a disaster, but I was so tired because I had just appointments, appointment, 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 and then one of them got delayed and it wasn't in the actual, like, um, where Essence was hold was in a hotel, like next door, and I was just running around. So right before we left, I knew that I have to go to see Manos Yerakinis. Because I have two perfumes from them. I have Methexis and then I have Immortel. Both I, I bought both of them and absolutely love them. So I was like, I need to see what else they have to offer. I went there, I finally found them because I told you in the past it's so confusing like a sans is so confusing you're like yep i have a map yep everything is fine it is not it is not it's impossible to find a brand and then i was like you know what i'm gonna go and find them because 
I did, I, I've tried to find them before, but then I would see other brand that I was interested in. I was like, oh, I'm gonna stop here two seconds and then I completely forget. So that was the last brand that I visited on Friday, on my second day. I went there, I was like, oh, I finally found you guys. Listen, it was the best decision that I've ever made because they were so funny. Like I never thought I'm gonna laugh that much at a perfume event. You know, like you'll be more serious, you'll be more like, like soft. And I was laughing, like they are hilarious. Absolutely love them. Just, I know, like the people that work, especially him, Manos, like, he was hilarious. We took a picture together. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Absolutely love the experience. I was like so glad I came in here because I was a bit down. I was just a bit like, not a bit, I was super tired. And then when I left, I was just like, oh my God, they were amazing. They were fantastic. And he gifted me this. He gifted me a uh, rose poetic. I was like, you don't have to, like, Jenny, you don't have to. Like, it's just a small niche brand from Greece. Absolutely love Greece. I've been there probably like eight or nine times. We were talking about it. I absolutely love Greece. Um, that's why my text is like really reminds me of Greece. And then this is like a stunning, sexy, dark rose. I really, really liked it. There is another fragrance um, that I am buying. Like I am buying because it's such a sexy, flirty, fun peony and rose perfume. But this one is more like intriguing, dark, nighttime rose scent. Rose Poetic, let me tell you about the notes. We have rhubarb, saffron, rose, labdanum, patchouli, raspberry, cashmere wood, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is a dark, almost like dry rose, red rose. Don't think pink, think red rose. And then you're getting just a sweetness, a slight sweetness from that raspberry. Okay. And then you're getting that labdanum. You're getting, it's, it's a mix of different dark notes. Uh, it's definitely a bit of patchouli. Not too much, just a little bit of patchouli. What else does it have? Labdanum, yes. Saffron, yes. You can smell the saffron. This is your mature not old mature in terms of like very put together very elegant nighttime rose dark rose don't think it's like oh like fun and no this is like a serious dark sexy rose very powerful like the other two perfumes that i have really good it's not for now because right now, like I said, this is more like fall winter, definitely fall winter nighttime. But I had another one, Pivot, I think it's called, uh, a peony, like apple, I believe, and some rose. That was such a fun fragrance. And that one is definitely perfect for the springtime. So I need to purchase that one. In case you never heard about this brand, I reviewed two other fragrances that I've purchased and I absolutely love. One, it's like a true, true gourmand. The other one, it's a very unique gourmand but you have to you have to know about this brand because it's absolutely fantastic but yeah rose poetic beautiful nighttime like intriguing dark rose i would say absolutely love it with the next fragrance you're gonna laugh when you're gonna see the name you're gonna understand why uh me and Hailey. We just like met that day and she was like, oh, I'm going to Javoy like for this like, kind of interview. I'm going to test their newest release. Do you want to come with me? I was like, yeah, why not? 10 minutes later, I had like microphones and they were like filming. And I was like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so basically they just gave us their newest release without telling us the name, the notes, nothing. And they smelled it. I was like, I really like this. Like, I really, really like this. It's very like airy, it's clean, it's a bit earthy as well. That's as what notes we think it has. I got all of them wrong, like completely wrong. I think it, I only got Iris right. Um, but everything else, I got it wrong. And then when I heard, they told me the name, I was like, huh, because 
The name of it is Musk Palace. If you know me, I don't like musk fragrances. That changed because this one is this one is not just musk, first of all. Uh, but this is not that animalic musk, or it's not that I don't know clean musk that Narciso Rodriguez has to absolutely hate and despise. And yeah, I cannot with that musk. This one is different. Like I would never know that I, I smell it properly. I'm like, yes, it has musk. But I can smell other notes as well. Let me tell you about the notes. We have musk palace, uh, ambret, bergamot, ocean spray, iris, peach, musk, and sonka bean. Like I said, I only got um, iris right. I said maybe like kayak wood or like I thought it has something like woody in the base. I thought maybe it has some carrot seeds, something like that. It doesn't. This is, it's so hard to explain because it does have like the freshness of the ocean. Like now that I smell it, I'm like, it has a like cold water feel. It has the ivory scent, but it's not powdery, but it smells like iris without being powdery. It's musky. See, you now I can, I can tell the texture. It has a mus musky texture. It's a very clean musk. And somehow in there, it has peach. Not really sure if I'm getting the peach, though. For me, it's just it's like every aquatic, most like ozonic fragrance. Like very clean, like you're gonna smell clean and elegant. I cannot believe that I like a musk fragrance. Like this is so strange for me, but it's not just musk. I think are those like ocean notes that really intrigue me. I never smell like musk and ocean notes, did you? Like I, I never did that. I see some carrot seeds. I'm, I'm still getting this like seeds thing going. I, I don't know. I got the nose completely wrong. It's such like an uplifting unisex. It's definitely unisex. It's definitely versatile. It's like daytime, nighttime. It's very clean. Very unisex. It's not sweet, but it doesn't feel masculine either. It's a beautiful, clean scent. I really like it. I'm surprised. I was not expecting that. Like. I will probably never ever test a perfume that was called Musk Palace because I don't personally like musky perfumes. But this one is not just the musk. For me, I think that the, like ocean, ocean spray, ocean notes are doing it for this fragrance. I like making it really, really nice. And now the last one I actually have just a 10 ml. You're gonna love this one from uh, Scentologia Synergy. I just did a fruity fragrance uh, video and I didn't have this one. Why? I don't know. This is, if you're looking for a fruity perfume, you're gonna love this one. You are gonna love this one. Synergy has apple, orange, pear, cassis, pineapple, peach, mango, rose, jasmine, almond, saffron, amber, musk, moss, and cedarwood. I would say the main notes in here are apple, pear, and mango. And a bit of, a bit of cassis as well. It's such a beautiful fruity scent. I love it. It's very like well-rounded as well it's nothing sharp in there it doesn't feel too exotic it doesn't feel too tropical you can definitely wear this one like all year round it doesn't feel because it has a mango note you might think oh this is like a holiday a vacation type of fragrance no it's absolutely beautiful it's absolutely amazing i love it and for a fruity scent it's very long lasting and it, do it does project like it does project Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. I 
don't think I've tested anything from this brand. I've tested, maybe I tested another one, but I've tested this one and I was like, hmm, what is that? What is that? What is that? Like, what are the notes? Like, it smells some mango. And they're like, yep, it has mango, it has apple, it has uh, pear, it has like, I was like, that is nice. I love it. Absolutely love it. I need a full bottle of this one. I know I have just a cinnamon. Usually, I don't really like having just 10 ml if I love the scent like I need to buy a full bottle of this one because it's stunning it's a stunning fruity perfume that again doesn't go to tropical it's just perfect for like every day um so the last scent that we got from Essence is Synergy from Scentologia and that was it for today guys that was it um please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested any of this I know if you are excited about like what I got and generally you know I would never ask I never ask anyone to give me anything they were just like kind enough and they gifted me all of these uh, beautiful fragrances my face said it all like my face was like I love it and they were like we can tell that you love it here we go here is a bottle if I didn't love something I would never accept or I would just never feature it in here because I got like I got not from my sons by God sent to me, I have so many perfumes like I can see them over there that I've never featured on this uh, on this channel because I just don't like them. They're not for me, and I'm not gonna mention fragrances that I just don't like because I'm not. I'm not. I have plenty of fragrances that I can talk about. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do another one where I'm gonna tell you what other fragrances I've discovered that maybe I have a sample maybe I don't have any sample like I would just want to buy them I just smell them in there and I want to buy them because they're like that good so stay tuned for that but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always I'm gonna see you in my next one bye bye